This is my newest book, Occupied Territory by Simon Balto. It's about policing in Black Chicago from the summer of 1919, the Red Summer, to the Black Power Movement. I can already tell that this is going to be a challenging book. When I was growing up in Oklahoma, you know, I'm South, and you think about the racial issues, the Jim Crow issues being a Southern phenomenon. And then you actually get into real history and you see that racism and systemic racism was happening all over the country. And so the hotbed of racism, the systemic um, racism over policing was happening in Chicago due to the Great Migration. All these Black folks going up to Chicago thinking that they are in for a better life. But white people out here were wringing their hands like, oh my God, what are we going to do about these, um, these Black people? And so the police basically set the tone. Police and politicians were basically the enforcers of a racial hierarchy that kept Black people subservient in Chicago. And it was definitely built into the, baked into the cake of the city. Even before the Red Summer popped off, they were already setting the foundations of violence. So there was a beach that was segregated. White people on this side, Black people on this side. Black teens wandered into the water because of the current. A white man threw rocks and drowned a teenager. White cops did not arrest the man that killed this teenager. And basically, that was the match that lit the Red Summer. Whew. So, now, Black people are justified in being angry that they were that there was no consequences to a white man killing a teenager for coming going to a beach. And so how do the cops respond? They let white mobs continue to beat the asses of black people. Sometimes the cops jumped in and beat the asses of black people. Black people were overwhelmingly arrested. Black people suffered the most as far as deaths go all because a white man killed a black person in Chicago. When has there been a good relationship between the cops and the black public, the black population of Chicago? Ever since they were created, they were created to over-police and underserve. Politicians plus racist redlining plus using police as the enforcers are what led to the current neighborhoods that are super duper segregated in Chicago. Chicago City was built like this on purpose. When um, black people started coming up here for the Great Migration, they were basically relegated to very small swaths of land. So no matter what, the black people were relegated to the south and west sides. Now, during prohibition in the 1920s, Mobsters knew that they could get away with doing their vices in the black belt, the South Side's black belt. The police would not mess with them and the gangsters knew it. So if they wanted to have a brothel, sell their liquor or whatever, they would do that. And since black people had to stay in their neighborhoods, hardworking black people that were not into those vices had no choices but to live amongst people um, selling drugs, being in sex trafficking and all that stuff. They couldn't get away. They couldn't move to a different area. And the white people's area were basically free from the brothels and alcohol and all of that stuff. So black people were, um, they tended to be over-policed and white people were under-policed, even the white people that were criminals. And it's basically set the scene for what Chicago is today. Um, that is why without really going through and fixing all of the bullshit that was laid a long time ago, there will never be a, um, a Chicago that has peace.